Questions for Patrick? How does it feel getting ready to, you know, got a big season ahead of you. This is sort of the 165 is your spot now. How do you, how are you feeling? Um, you look excited, motivated. Um, I technically don't like get to answer you right away. I like to kind of just stay calm and ready to go and kind of, I'd maybe more describe it as just being like motivated, ready to go than like super like amped and excited, even though I just said excited before, but just calm before the storm really. That's how I'd put my style of approaching things. In the room, who are some of the people that you kind of, you know, train with? Um, Maybe that's kind of mentored you a little bit since you've stepped into the room. Um, one of those big guys was Michael Kemmer. You know, he was the guy that really helped mentor me. Just um, we like weren't like competing for a spot um, like last year, and so. But Marinelli is also a guy that's mentored me just th through being a really good workout partner, and I've learned a lot of things just from that. Um, I throw Young in there. I throw like Morning Stars, like who's like my coach, also my workout partner, but. I think Kemmer was definitely a guy that, that um, I've learned a lot through, and um, he's a great guy. Is it just technique-wise, or is it just you know process things maybe on the periphery of actual wrestling that you kind of learn from them? Or? Yeah, you um, you learn like technique. You know, it's super important, but a lot to me in wrestling is like your mindset and like what it comes down to when you're tied and it's for the marbles, and so and he. He was a guy that you'd have, I'd have to be really sharp. I have to, my mind had to be ready to go. I had to be ready on the whistles. I had to be ready coming back to the center. Get ready when you go to overtime with them or in the practice room or whatever it was. So like I learned a lot of technique, but I also learned stuff beyond the technique that really, what I would say like the, the grit to win like a big match and a, a big moment. Your only two losses last year were to Marinelli, so what did you learn wrestling him? Well, I lost three times last year. One of them was to him. Um, uh, you learn that um, you got to go out there. You got to put points on the board. I mean, if usually if you want to win a national title, you got to either take everybody down or turn everybody on top, and with both of those, come no one, no one can ride you. And so I'd say no matter who it is, you got to go put points on the board in any way possible. If you want to throw him on his head, you want to take a low ankle, you want to run behind him, points to points. So points got to go up. It seemed like you do that uh, that information right off the top of your head right away. Is that the kind of stuff that sticks with you? I mean, are you the type of competitor to kind of keep those results and stuff in your mind and use it as motivation? Yeah, you run things through your mind. I mean, I run things through my head every single day before I go to bed when I wake up, just – you know, reminding myself, I think, you know, recycling that pain or that loss is important to me. And so, I mean, that's, and that's also just what I'm about as a competitor and as a person is getting better. And so that's what the coaches preach to us. And so I think it goes hand in hand with, you know, being a champion on and off the mat. I'm working on a story about how, you know, wrestling, women's basketball, men's basketball sort of use Kinnick Stadium and football is a way to like, you know, get you know get recruits. Did you go there when you were being recruited for a game, and did that, you know, stick with you at all, or did they go to Kinnick? Yeah, yeah, I went to Kinnick. Um, I think we played Northwestern, but I think we were smacking them pretty good, so I like left at halftime. So I mean, yeah, it was cool. I like the, you know, I go to the football games even now with the recruits. I just like to go like to the walkouts part and see that the hawk fly quick, and that's all I need. What do you remember about when you wrestled, uh, you, you got to wrestle labs in, in Carver during the COVID year? What do you remember about that? I remember that um, it was, I don't know, maybe 400 people, but it was still kind of loud. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was it was real small. But, it, you know, that's another match where you got to put the points on your board in your favor. And um, I would probably say just not being surprised about anything. I think maybe – I was a little surprised just um, being a little younger, but I think I've came a long ways. We made improvements in all aspects to, you know, I wish I could go back and that match, but I gotta learn from it. Yeah. Well, he's kind of a funky guy. Like, is, 
but being able to like get a get in a match like that and compete as a true freshman, like did that that boost confidence at all? Or that I mean to me, I mean I've always had really good confidence. I've never been a guy that's been like down on my skills and my my mindset, and so like just to throw my hat in the ring didn't really matter to me. My my throw my hat to win the rent throw my hat in to win was my mindset, and. So, I mean, after that match and every other match, you got to continue to work, you know, and just make yourself as close to bulletproof as possible. So, have you thought about what it'll be like when it's, you're walking out on the mat and the carpet's full? Oh, yeah. I think about it all the time. Come down here at night, think about it. Run your walk, I think about it. I mean, I'll come down here at whatever time of the night and I'll walk out there with my walkout song going through my headphones just to kind of get going. So, still not going to tell us the song, are you? I mean, a couple days away. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah, these are old, though, but, you know, freaks till I die.